Good evening, everyone. A tax increase for homeowners, but no big cuts to city services. Madison's mayor rolling out the city's operating budget this afternoon. News 3's Jessica Arp joins us to break down the numbers, Jess. Well, Susan, the mayor saying this is yet another difficult budget and calling the increase this year modest, although it will be the third recessionary budget that will raise taxes. The mayor announcing his budget proposal at the Kennedy Heights Community Center on the north side today, reaffirming his plan to help neighborhoods by increasing community services budgets by $200,000 and funding a community development grant writer to leverage more state and federal funding for neighborhoods. On the tax front, the mayor's budget increases the tax levy by 2.9 percent, but that translates to a tax increase of 4.8 percent, or $93, on the average home valued at just more than $241,000. That's because property values and new development did not increase in the city over the last year. Although spending is up by about 3% in this budget, there are no new police officers included, with the mayor hoping for some federal funds to do that. The chip ceiling program has been cut for one year. The purchase of new city vehicles has been delayed for a year. And the mayor combined city channel operations with the IT department to streamline operations. I think what you see is a, a budget that is uh, lean, that's efficient, that maintains all of the services we had last year and actually makes some progress um, in a few other ways. There are no major cuts to police, fire, snow plowing, parks or libraries in this budget. The mayor says the tax increase was necessary to maintain services in the city and help cover an increase in city employee health insurance benefits as well as debt service. The mayor will now present the budget to the city council for their consideration with votes beginning on November 16th. Jessica Arp reporting tonight. Just thanks.